Hey guys, Sean Zinn, the Connection Machine, aka the Insurance Doctor. Another con collaboration, and it's all about providing value for you. For those that are watching, again, it's guests that I bring on are going to share what they do, and then we're going to talk about different things that are going to help you give value to you. That's the end goal: is for you to gain something from our conversation. You use it, and then you are going to better yourself. Uh, a couple of housekeeping with those that are popping in, please drop a hashtag live on the live hashtag replay on the replay. Where are you watching us from? And uh, don't forget, hit that subscribe button, hit the share button at the end because we want to help as many people as possible. Let me bring on a good friend of mine. What's up, Rich? Hey, how you how doing, Sean? You? How's things? I'm doing fantastic. I appreciate you taking some time out of your day to uh, you know be with us, share some value, and... Um, educate others i'm always telling people so awesome I, I love to do that been a coach whether it's um investing or in fitness and stuff that's one of the things that i've done for so many years and i do love helping people so any kind of value that i can give or or help you guys is um, i'm all i'm on board fantastic rich i always love to have the guests share who are you and what do you do all right. So I do a lot of things. Um, you know, I, I had mentioned to you before, uh, prior to being in real estate, which I am in now, I used to be in fitness. I uh, did that for about 20 years, uh, owned a couple of gyms um, and uh, personal training, all that kind of stuff, coaching and stuff. So I did a lot of that as well. Got into real estate about 10 years ago. Um, I am a licensed agent with Keller Williams. Um, and I also am an investor. So I did uh, a couple of fix and flips. Um, I wholesale deals. If you're not sure what that is, I explain that to you as well. Um, and I provide funding for investment properties. So I do not do residential mortgages, but if you're looking for an investment property or two or three family or to do a fix and flip, I do the lending on that as well. So my day is, is pretty hectic and pretty busy, but I love it. Man, you are able to be basically be a one-stop shop. You can educate people that have never invested before. For those that have invested, you can get them the funding that they need. You can find the property. Mm -hmm. It's something that and they need insurance. They can give me a shout. <laughs> I'll get them. Uh, I'm sending them right to you, Sean. <laughs> we. It's something that it's great to to be involved in your business is key. I see a lot of real estate agents. They don't invest. And the way to make money in real estate is to invest in property so that you have some passive, somewhat passive income that comes in consistently. I would say not even passive, recurring income, because it's not always you're going to work. Everyone has to do some kind of job. You have to like upkeep of the property. You have to collect things. It's it's still a job, but it's more of a convenience if you have it all set up with the right people in place. And that's where Rich comes into play. It's important to have somebody like him to have that expertise. So I, we're in the market right now in New Jersey. Talk about, if you could, on the listing front, people that are thinking about selling this year and how important it is to get on board now before instead of later. Yeah, exactly. So that's one of the um, one of the things I have. Uh, I, I'm trying to get across to some of these people that that own a house that might be think about selling is their you know, their number one thing is, you know, the, I'm locked into a, a three percent, three and a half percent interest rate. I don't want to sell right now. I'm going to go into, you know, a six percent interest rate. And I understand that and I get that. But what sometimes they do not understand is because a lot of people are not selling inventory is very low. So you've got uh, and what that does is that brings home values up. Right. So if there's only three properties out in a town instead of 16, there's going to be bidding wars. There's going to be people over asking. So prices are up across the board, at least in New Jersey, um, 20, 30 percent sometimes. Uh, so the thing is, is like, listen, I, I know you're going to get a bigger interest rate, but you might pull in an extra 20, 30, maybe 40 more thousand dollars in in equity that you didn't have before. And, you know, and the thing is, is if the interest rates do come down, you always have that uh, option to refinance, right? You can refinance in two or three years down the road. Now, the thing that I tell people is like, well, if you guys are all waiting for the interest rates to come down, you and everybody else. So what's going to happen is in two, three years, when when everything comes down, everybody's going to want to sell. I've been holding back. Now I want to sell. So now instead of three properties in Hillsborough, where I am, there's 50 properties. So what happens to property values, right? They go down. 
So now your house is good. You're going to get less than what you got before. Now you're going to be in a better interest rate. So it's a trade off. So, you know, sometimes and we talked about investing. It might not be such a bad idea to sell now, pull out that or pull out extra equity and investing, invest in the property. I mean, you know, it's expensive to live in New Jersey. It's expensive to live anywhere and 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 finding some passive income and building a portfolio for your future, I think is very important. Some people don't, you know, don't consider or think about that. No, well said. And before we continue, let me pause for one second. How many people are all about, and I you, you talked this getting me triggered as far as having the fitness and being healthy and, and, and people say they have no time. And you said you own some gyms and you're very health, into that health kick. And I am as well. And it's important that people are active because it will help your business. Can you talk to that fact? Yeah, absolutely. And I think it's vitally important. And when I do talk to people about, you know, real estate investing, that want to get in. I do a coach. I coach for that. Uh, one of the things I bring up is fitness and staying in shape. And the thing is, um, you know, there's so many benefits to it because, you know, it's a crazy world. We are all extremely busy. And I know everyone says, I don't have time. I don't have time. I don't have time. But you can have time. You have time to take a shower every day. Did you do you ever say, oh, I can't take a shower. I don't have time. No. And why is that? Because it's very important to you. You have to take a shower. So you look at fitness that same way. I have to work out. I will make time and schedule. I mean, two days a week, I'm there at five in the morning and two days a week, I'm there at night after work um, and I get it done. And I'll tell you that it, my energy levels are up tremendously. Um, I'm on the go. I'm moving. I'm doing stuff all day long. And it's funny because on certain days, you know, I, I don't work out seven days a week. So one or two days a week I do take off. I do feel a little tired and a little laggy on those days as compared to when I do go to the gym, I get back home, I take a shower, I get in front of my computer and I'm ready to rock and roll. So it, it's just so important. And it's not even that. It's just your quality of life. Right. Everybody always says, oh, I want to live, you know, I want to live a long life. And and I'm, I say I don't want to live. A I don't need to live a long life. I want a good quality of life. So, and that's it. You know, my dad is 83 years old. Uh, he plays golf. He swims every day. He's in great shape. And, and you know, you know, he doesn't take any medications. Um, and it all, I all contribute that to the fitness that, you know, that he does and, and that I taught him. And it's very important, not just for now, but for your future. I mean, I don't want to be 70 year old guy sitting in a wheelchair with, you know, taking a ton of meds, uh, you know, just sitting around watching TV all day. I want to be doing stuff. I agree 100 percent. And my kids and I have young kids. And like you said, you've got to make time for yourself. Make an appointment. Put it in your calendar. If you have a calendar, if you have your phone, you book all your calls. Oh, I have to call during the, this time and this time. Well, book your time, your 30 minute, your 45 minute, whatever. I wouldn't go for two hours, three hours, but go for a 30 minute workout. It could be cardio. If you're older, like I'm in, I'm 46, I'm going to be 47 in September. I'm all about strength training. I want to make sure I have muscle for the long haul and it helps you with burning calories, guys, and using your legs. Working out your legs will help you. So doing some biking, doing some working as far as cardio, as far as walking or running, powerful. So yeah, it's just about... It's just about being active. Um, and I tell people, I'm like, you don't necessarily have to join a gym. If that's something that you really don't like, you're intimidated, that's fine. You can go outside and garden for two hours, up and down and move around. You want to, you know, you want to go for a walk or a bike ride or anything, you know, anything just staying active and, and, and moving around at all works. It all helps. And, you, you know, you mentioned about scheduling. It's extremely important because, you know, people do say we don't have enough time. But if you can sit down and you can schedule your day every Sunday night, I schedule out my week, you know, I, and, and, and to almost every every couple of hours, what I'm doing, I'm working out in the morning. I, I'm making phone calls here. I, I have a lunch appointment there. You know, everything's all set. And I try to stick to that as much as I can. And. You know, to me, the, the workout part is a non-negotiable thing. I am working out at five in the morning on Monday morning and and that's it. And yeah, I don't like getting out of bed at five in the morning, but I do it because I know when I'm done, I'm going to feel so much better. And and also, too, for stress, forget just the fitness, but the stress part of it, too. 
you know, I'm, I am busy all day and I get extremely stressed out, but you know, after a good hard workout, um, I feel, I feel much better. I'm re-energized and I can go again and, and it, it, it helps. Yeah, I agree. Get more energy in your day if you start early, if it's at night, and maybe you can't sleep. For those that are watching, you can't sleep. Have a great workout before you go to bed. You'll pass out immediately. I'll put you to bed, that's for sure. Don't have a five hour, don't have a, a pre workout at seven, eight, nine o'clock at night. I would just do your workout. I wouldn't drink anything that would make you have too much caffeine or what have you, but it's important to make that happen. And it's key. I always say health is wealth. The more we have, the more energy we have, the more things we can do, our stress level will be a little bit less. And it's important to definitely keep that in mind as far as scheduling. I want to end on educating those that are watching. What are some tips for those that are, want to be a first time flipper, not even flipper, investor and touch on wholesaling for those that don't know who that what that is? OK, so let's just go with the wholesaling very quickly. It's it's something that's quite widely done. Um, a lot of people don't know about it. It's basically uh, getting a, a property under contract and taking the rights of that contract and assigning it to someone else who wants to to flip it or hold it. Right. So I'll find a property. I'll make an offer. I'll get it accepted. Um, I have it under contract. And then what I'll do is I'll find a buyer. Say, hey, listen, I have a two family here in, I don't know, uh, Elizabeth, New Jersey. Um, it's either fully rented or maybe it needs work, whatever. You know, this is the price. Um, you know, when I find someone that's interested in doing it and what I do is I assign the contract for them. I uh, assign a fee for myself and I get paid and it's nice and simple. It really doesn't cost me much money because a lot of people might not have the, the, the money to do an actual investment property themselves right away. So that's an easier way to pick up, uh, you know, some extra cash, five or 10 or $15,000 um, and build that, build that equity and then go out and get your own property. So you can, anyone can do that in New Jersey. Um, some states are actually uh, requiring you to get a license for wholesaling. I know mm -hmm. uh, Pennsylvania, uh, you have to have a license to be a wholesaler. It's not very difficult, but but you do have to do that. Um, so that's one way, one way to go about it. Um, as far as regular investing yourself, I mean, you know, you're probably looking at a, a 20% down on a, on a property, but uh, pretty much all the rest of it would be covered, whether it's a, a fix and flip, which requires a purchase and then rehab money to fix it up and then resell it. So usually lending wise, we'll offer hundred percent of the rehab and about 80 to 85 percent of the purchase price of the house. Now, these are not no doc loans, which means um, it's not traditional bank. It's it's private. It's technically private lending, but we don't need um, it's an asset based loan. So I don't need to know what you do for a living. I don't need W-2s. I don't need tax returns. Um, I need the information on the asset. Uh, we do not um, lend to personal uh, uh personally. So you have to form an LLC or an entity. Um, so I need entity documents and just assets to show that you can close on this property. Uh, you know, the 20% down closing costs um, and anything else that that might be. And that's pretty much it. Um, and then, you know, so a lot of these people will will do the, you know, either a flip um, uh, and resell it or they'll buy an investment property fix it up, get it rented out and do what's called the Burr. I don't know if you guys ever heard of Burr. It's, uh, let's see if I can get this right. Buy, rehab, uh, rent, refinance, repeat. So yep. basically that's how you build a portfolio, right? So you buy a, a multifamily property that needs work. You do what's a bridge loan, right? A 12 month loan for the rehab construction part of it. You fix it up, you get it rented. You do a cash out refinance in three to four months. Uh, you pull out the equity on that. Now you have a rental property. You own it. It's rented. It's making money, hopefully. And you're going to take that money that you cashed out and you're going to use that towards your next purchase of your next rental property. You know, a lot of people will start out with a single family or a two or a three family. But I've known investors now that have two to three hundred doors. You know, they yep. started out just like that. Then they bought a six family and then an eight. And then, you know, and then you start getting into 20 and 30 units. And, uh, you know, and you can manage that pretty, you know, it's it's not as difficult as you think, especially multifamilies. Um, you can have a property management company that handles all that for you. 
Um, so if you get the right people in place, you can just sit back and just collect checks. What a wonderful time that could be. And uh, <laughs> you definitely want to reach out to Rich. All his information will be in the description below. Rich, what is a, a good contact information that they get in contact with you directly for anything as far as what we were talking about today? Yeah, well, I have like seven different emails because I have all kinds of, you know, things going on. But uh, Rich at JDL ventures dot com. That's uh, that's my investor um, email uh, would be uh, you could definitely reach out to me there. Rich at JDL ventures dot com. Um, or you can give me a call 908-635-2069. I am always available. Um, I'm on the phone a lot, but if you call me, I'll always get back to you. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions on investing or wanting to sell your property, or I even offer free valuations for your house. Maybe I want to see how much is my house really worth um, in today's market. I can do that as well. Uh, and I don't charge anybody for that. I'll show you where it is, and then you can decide what you want to do. If you want to sell, great. If you want to hold on, that's great too. But um, that's the be best way to get a hold of me. And again, like I said, Sean, I love to help. So you guys have questions, just want to chat for a little bit. Uh, I have no problem getting on the phone with you for a couple of minutes. Definitely take them up on it. Have a connection call with Rich. Again, all this information will be in the description below. Don't forget to check out all the things that will pop up here as far as playlists. You guys should check out a couple of the opportunities that I can do for you. And as always, I hope that you all have, and Rich, thanks so much for being with us, that you all have an awesome rest of your day. It's also always a pleasure, Sean. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it.